In our last video, we did a daily database only backup. In this one, we're going to do a weekly full backup. I'll click Add New, give it a good title. And then here, I'm going to choose all the options. I'm going to choose BZIP2 again and back up to a folder and my log files will be the same as last time. I'm going to leave the schedule at manual. My database backup will be the same as a regular database backup. But then we can come over to files. We're going to back up the root folder. We can optionally exclude WP admin and WP includes. Theoretically, you should never touch those, and nothing should have ever edited them, so you could simply get fresh copies from WordPress. I'm not going to exclude them, just so that I don't have to go get new copies. We're backing up the content folder, and we're going to exclude the upgrade folder, which should never have anything besides temporary files in it anyway. And then we can choose to back up our plugins. By default, it excludes itself. And then we can back up the themes, and there are exclusions if we wish, and then the uploads folder. By default, it excludes your backups and the log file. And then there's a field to type in extra folders to back up. These would be things that are not WordPress at all, but you still might want backed up. And then there are some options to exclude other things. And the last thing here, we could optionally exclude our wp-config, robots.txt, .htaccess, .htpassword, and our fav icon. I can't think why you would want to, though, so we're going to leave this set to include them. Now, an XML export is similar to a database dump, except it's in a special WordPress proprietary format. This could be useful for importing to another site or something. We're going to set this to be zip2 so that it compresses it. This is our plugin list, like we looked at last time, and the DB check, which we looked at last time. We'll try to repair a defective table, and then the folder to which we're backing things up. So now I'm going to hit Save Changes, and we have the option here to run directly from here or look at the overview. I'll go ahead and run it from right here. Now because I'm backing up files, this should take a little bit longer than the database backup. You can see here that it says for how long this has been running. I mentioned during the database backup that database backups can run quite quickly. And you can see right here the runtime for this last one was one second. And we're already at almost 60 seconds for the full backup. And there we are. This full backup took 81 seconds. Now this is an almost empty blog. I have very few files here and only a couple posts. If you have any kind of serious blog at all, it's going to take much longer than that. But that's okay. Try to do your schedule so that it runs in the night, or just do it yourself when you know you have low traffic, and you should be just fine. I'm going to click on the backups link. My database only backup was 176k, but my full backup is 31.98 megabytes. So now I'm going to download this one as well. One last thing I want to look at in this video before we move on is the logs link. And here's a log of everything that it did. Let's look at the log for just the database real quick. And that's it. It's just that long. The log for the full backup looks like this. It can be a little cryptic, but if something goes wrong, you can provide it to support, and they can lend a hand.